Hi everybody, welcome back to Zephyr Travels and another Campground 411. This time we are staying at Lost Dutchman State Park. It is located in Apache Junction, just east of Phoenix, right off of Apache Trail. And it's at the foothills of Superstition Mountain. This has been a campground that I've been trying to get into for the last three years. It is always very popular, very full, and it's difficult to get a reservation, at least with hookups, with electric and water. Um, they do have a number of sites that are what they would call undeveloped or no hookups, and you typically can find some availability on those, but even on the weekends, those are usually full too. We really enjoy this campground. We love the location. Um, Apache Junction area is very sentimental for Diane and I because it is where my father lived for a number of years and so we've visited this area a lot and enjoy coming back to here. The campground offers a lot of um, activities. There's hiking, mountain bike trails, um, there's a dog park for your dog. Um, there's just a lot here to do just across the road from the campground is Goldfield um, Mining Town and that is a mining ghost town that is open up for tourists it's really kind of just a tourist trap we but we did go there yesterday and walked around and checked out some of the stores took the train ride got a little bit of the history of the mining camps and such that were there and that's very enjoyable you can also take Apache Trail to the north and you can get to Tortilla Flats and there is a water access area there. I think it's the Snake River where you can go boating, um, which is nice, or it's just a very nice drive out that way too. Today's adventure takes us to Goldfield Mine. This is like an old mining town that is uh, basically a tourist trap. Yeah, really. I mean, they do offer tours and it looks like they have a train and, you know, uh, mercantile. Yeah, it's located in Apache Junction, Arizona. Right, and it happens to be right across from the campground we're staying at. We're staying at Lost Dutchman State Park, which is right across the road. And we've been hearing the train from this uh, uh, little park or town for the last couple of days. Yeah, so we thought we'd come over and take a visit. Take it, check it out. Yep. So we're taking along with us. This is the Motherlode Mercantile, Treasures Old and New, Candy, Shop, and Homemade Fudge. Is this who's greeting us? See the salt and pepper shaker? Mm. I don't know if I'd want to put that in the trailer. No? It'd probably break. Uh. Finding a magnet you like? Finding a magnet you like? Yeah. What'd you got? Oh, just a couple postcards on the magnet. Yep. <laughs> always have to have a magnet. Yep. Always have to have a magnet. Again, welcome to Gold Free. Put yourself back in that time period. Sit so back and watch a little of the old West come to life. Stage area? 
how was your visit to Goldfield Mine? It was interesting. Uh, we've been to other mining towns, old mining towns, and so this is probably very similar. You know, uh, they do have the saloon, and <coughs> excuse me, some shops, and uh, yeah, and a church. Yep. We just finished riding the train, so that was quite interesting. And you can actually take a tour of the mine. They have a, a, a mine tour. We did that a few years ago when we come here one time. Um, so it's kind of fun. Everything is like a paper. So you, if you don't want to do all this stuff and just walk around the shops, you can do that. Sorry. If you want to do more, you can definitely do more. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and it's a nice day out, so it was a, a good attraction to visit. Yeah, and the train was fun. We definitely would recommend the train then. Mm -hmm. The engineer is a great storyteller and tells very enjoyable. You all about, yep, tells you all about the mining, the mining uh, town. <coughs> The campsites here are all paved. Uh, like I said, they do offer water and electric. Um, about 60 sites with water and electric and about 60 sites that don't have any hookups. Our site happens to be a pull through. Looking at the map, it looks like roughly half of the um, hookup sites are pull through and the other half are not, they're back in. The, our sites are very nice and very clean. The campground hosts do an excellent job of making sure that the campground is pristine for every guest before they get here. So you're gonna find that all the stones have been raked. You're not even gonna see a footprint. Everything's been clean. The grill has been emptied. It's really all in very nice condition and ready for you while you're here. And that's really the way the whole campground is. The campground hosts are constantly running around making sure everything is perfect for your stay, which is very nice. We would really recommend, I hesitate to do this because of the difficulties we've had to trying to get a reservation here, but we really would recommend this campground. My suggestion is book it early. I had to book for getting just five days over and, and including a weekend in here. I booked this campground six months in advance. Arizona State Parks allow you to book a campground up to a year in advance, so I would suggest a year to six months in advance to make sure you get a site if you want to be here for any length of time. Well, I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment if you stayed at Lost Dutchman Campground and subscribe to our channel. We post videos on a regular basis of places we stay and things we've done and we'd love to have you guys follow along in our adventures. So until the next time, we will see you down the road. Take care, everybody.